Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Dailies. I'm Jason Dacey with the top cricket news this Saturday. First up, KL Rahul and Shreyas Ayers, 50s, help India win the first T20I in Auckland by six wickets. Shoaib Malik's comeback, 50, ends Pakistan's losing streak in T20Is. And elbow trouble rules out Jofra Archer from the final test in Johannesburg. Half centuries from KL Rahul and Shreyas Ayer led India to a six-wicket victory over New Zealand in the opening 2020 match in Auckland. India won the match with an over to spare as they made light work of the target. New Zealand had been asked to bat earlier in the evening, Captain Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor scoring 50s off 25 balls each. Colin Munro hit a relatively sedate half century. When India batted, KL Rahul cracked a 27 ball 56 and Kohli almost got to the mark too, but it was Ayer's contribution that proved decisive. India and New Zealand play the second game of the five match series in Auckland on Sunday. Shoaib Malik made an impressive return to 2020 cricket with a half century and carried Pakistan to a five wicket victory over Bangladesh in the first match of the three match series. Pakistan captain Baba Azam was out for his first zero in T20 internationals when he was caught behind off the second ball. But Malik, who scored 58 not out off 45 balls with five fours, carried the home team to 142 for five in 19.3 overs. Earlier, Bangladesh struggled to reach 141 for five against Pakistan's young pace attack. Pakistan snapped a six-match losing streak in the format and ensured they hold on to their number one T20I ranking for now. Jofra Archer has been forced to pull out of England's team for the final test in South Africa after suffering a recurrence of elbow pain. Archer missed the previous two tests after reporting pain in his right elbow. He had impressed in training over the last few days, however, and was set to play in Johannesburg. But after bowling a few deliveries in warm-ups on Friday morning, he approached the team doctor and reported more soreness in the same area. As a result, the England management decided not to risk him in the game.